Hey guys, it's Carter, and today we are making strawberry pumpkin oatmeal cranberry cookies with our product, Woody's Goody Strawberry Pumpkin Apple Butter. So, let me tell you the ingredients. One cup all-purpose flour, one half teaspoon baking soda, half teaspoon baking powder, one fourth gra teaspoon ground cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon salt, one cup unsalted butter, room temperature, one half cup light brown sugar, one fourth cup white sugar, one large egg, room temperature, one teaspoon vanilla extract, one and a half cups old fashioned rolled oats, one cup sweetened dried cranberries, one cup white or milk chocolate chips, one jar of Woody's Goody Strawberry Pumpkin Apple Butter. So are you ready to get started? Let's start. So step number one is to, you have to mix all the dry ingredients into a big bowl. So we'll need flour, baking soda, baking powder, cinnamon, and salt. Okay, step number two. In a separate bowl, you're gonna mix the butter, and the brown sugar, and the white sugar, and, you, and you're gonna mix it up with a hand mixer. Yo, Mike, you know, want a parent to help you with this, so. Let's chuck the butter in there. Chug the brown sugar in there. Chug the white sugar. So, um, let's mix it. Okay, we are officially finished so yeah next step is to put the egg and the vanilla extract in there take that in Okay, that smells good with the sugar and the vanilla in there. Can't wait. Okay, so we're gonna put our dry mixture into the mix, wet mixture, and then mix it up. Okay, so just mix this. So now I'm just gonna put this on here. So now we're gonna mix it up. Okay, so now this is like pretty mixed up. We are gonna fold in the oats the cranberries, the white chocolate, and the Woody's Goodies strawberry pumpkin apple butter of product. Okay. Flush the oats. Cannot see the mixture anymore, just the oats. And then the dried cranberries. And the white chocolate chips. 
Time for the apple bite. Okay, so just and then just one whole jar of Woody's goodies, strawberry pumpkin apple butter. Time to mix it. Mm, that smells good with all that apple butter. Oh, it's hard to mix. Okay, so I guess this is pretty done mixing. So we're set. And next, we are gonna put this in the refrigerator for about thirty minutes to firm it up a little. So we're going to set the oven to 350 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. And then you're going to get a cooking tray and a piece of parchment on top of it to put the cookies on. Stay tuned. Okay, it has been 30 minutes, so I'm going to just take the cookie dough out of the fridge. Put it right here. Off. And that's our cookie dough. So we're just going to take a scoop and just take a bunch of this. Plop it down. So I'm using this little ice cream scoop, but you can use anything to put it on the tray. Well, at least anything that can do the job and get the job done. Okay, so I am going to do that until I fill this tray. Okay, we're ready to put it in the oven. So this dish makes about like 24 cookies. So we're going to be using two trays. So let's just put it in the oven. Okay, so we're gonna make it for 20 minutes. Okay, it's ready, so let's turn the oven off. Ah, oh, and let's take it out. Whoa! Ah, smells good. So we're going to take the cookies off of the tray and onto the cooling rack. Okay, so our cookies are ready and they just cooled. So I'm just going to taste one. Mmm. Delicious. I can taste that cranberry and that chocolate chip and that oat and it's just moist. So moist. It's right out of the oven. Mm, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.